Hey people! What's up? To what's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh. Hi guys. So this is the dashiki. Dashiki. Who am I? This is the dashiki. Okay, from the brown sugar box that I told y'all I was gonna show y'all. So let me show y'all this little cute little thing right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you that cute little thing right here. So cute, so cute right here. Eh. <laughs> it has pockets on the side. So thank you, Izzy and Liv, for this cute fit that I really love so much. You hear? Watch me wear this at church. It's so cute. <laughs> Every month is Black History Month, period. <laughs> Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is basically gonna be me talking to you, the camera, my fans, if I have any, about why a lot of relationships don't last. Okay, if you're in one, this video is not for you, bye. This is for the people like me. That's not in one, okay? This is for the people who can relate to me. Who have struggled on Tinder have struggled because I'm just kidding if you want to be here then stay here listen to what I have to say to hopefully make your relationship last longer many more years to come you know be in your blessed relationship you know what I'm saying <laughs> before you continue watching this video do not forget to hit that like button that subscribe button you know what I'm saying get your girl out there up and moving you know what I'm saying like Thank you. As y'all know, my relationship that I was in didn't last that long, and I'll tell y'all at the end why it didn't last long. Because I made a story time about oh my first boyfriend, da la 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 la. But I'm gonna tell y'all what I didn't tell y'all before. So okay. So anyways, feel free to confide in a friend that's not in a relationship, cause you know we'd be the best one telling you relationship advice. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like that. Okay. Anyways, let me start with the list. <laughs> that I wrote on this receipt while I was on vacation because I really wanted to get this out here to y'all. <laughs> Number one, the relationship was based on lust. Like, I see that a lot. And nothing wrong with you being a little freaky, freak, 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 freak in your relationship, but don't base a relationship on solely that because at the end of the day, if you try to take that away and be like, oh babe, I don't want to be doing this too much, you know, I think we should chill, we should like take it slow. They go look at you like, girl, boy, who you think you talking to? No. Okay? If the relationship is solely based on lust, then it's gonna feel like if I don't offer this, what can I offer? What do I have? Like, I don't got nothing else to give you but the vagina. <laughs> As soon as you start talking to somebody, you just letting them know, Ooh, I like this. I'm like that. Daddy, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. You know, but that's not all good all the time. Get to know the person for real, for real, so you can see what they really want. Because boys are reckless. I'm not gonna front. Girls are reckless too. We be worse. I'm not gonna lie. We be worse. Anywho, a boy will date you as long as they need to get to what they want. You know what I'm saying? If they want the vagine, they go get the vagine. Either way. And then dip. <laughs> Number two, you were excited about the idea of being in a relationship. So a lot of people just want to be able to have somebody just call boyfriend or girlfriend and stuff like that. A lot of people, you'd be surprised, just jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. Like take time on yourself, figure out yourself because you going back and forth, back and forth. You're affecting yourself. You probably don't notice the damage, but you will notice. The person that you're in a relationship will notice the damage. Being so excited for being in a relationship that you not even noticing the flaw that the person has you just oh i got a boyfriend da -da 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 -da. it's so fun baby baby boy all this extra stuff you're not really sitting here actually trying to get to know the person like you need to number three you were in love with the idea of being in love number three is pretty close to number two but number three is more emotionally invested you want to fall in love so bad that you put your all into this person even if this person is not putting their all into you you put your all because you just want to be able to say I'm in love you just want to experience it and I don't blame you for wanting to experience it but be careful okay because you about to fall in love with somebody that really don't even much see a future with you you know what I'm saying that you wasting your time the person don't ever think they could fall in love with you they don't even want to try to fall in love with you they don't want to feel lonely and as hard and as rude and as blunt as it sounds that's facts number four you did not 
spend time to get to know each other and that's what happened with me and my ex and it didn't last that long so i don't know if i really consider him an ex but i guess i could if you kiss if that that's just like the boom y'all dated that's your ex you know whatever we didn't really get to know each other and i could blame myself for that too i guess we didn't really spend time really 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 trying to get to know each other in depth conversation i guess it just never really was a chance to get to know each other like that if you have the time a chance to really get to know somebody that you want to be emotionally invested in then do that if you don't you're going to be in a relationship with somebody that you don't really know and you know you could be married to somebody you never really know them for real imagine like don't make that mistake ask questions ask about their future ask what do you want to be what do you like to do if you could travel one place where would it be even though that's cheesy questions you know that still could be some pretty lit conversation from there it just depends on how much y'all put in number five too much much people was in your relationship as in you were telling too much people what's going on oh he did this he did that she did this she did that dog you know what I'm saying like too much people getting into your head even if you're not saying anything people will still make comments and say things sometimes it's best to keep your relationship private especially if you're like an influencer and big and like celebrity and stuff like that keep your relationship private because the more you put out into the internet the more information you give out about your relationship the the more stuff that you do that allows people to look inside your relationship the more problems it will be and that's facts so you can see that a lot of celebrities relationships don't last because of people too much people saying that saying that saying that you don't really know what's going on you just looking from the outside if your relationship is going great and it's not toxic keep your stuff under wrap you need to just like back away get people to back away and let it just be y'all because at the end of the day if y'all get married it's y'all saying life or death till sickness into health number six you weren't ready for a relationship and a lot of people don't be ready for relationships but will be so quick to jump in one if you are not satisfied where you are as a person mentally emotionally then do not get into a relationship because if you can't love yourself how are you supposed to love somebody else you just oh take me i volunteer as tribute <laughs> i don't think i was ready for one i'm not really sure if i was ready to be in a relationship i don't know i guess i'll just never know if i was really ready but if you're not sure whether you should be in that relationship or not if you ask your friends should i give him a chance should i date him should i ask him out should i this then do not jump into it make sure you are sure make sure that's exactly what you want if you jump into that relationship and then later on realize dang this is not what i want then it's gonna be mad easy for you to cheat and if you cheat you go feel like the worst person in the world especially if the person you cheated on your current relationship with is not even worth it or doesn't respect you like the person that you're in a relationship with respect you or you know just drop you or play a you on you you will feel real stupid so i'm telling you now it's not gonna be in your favor i tell you that much number seven you only dated this person because y'all like the same thing and that can really be a problem because you jump into your relationship and then it don't work out because just because y'all like the same thing doesn't mean that y'all relationship will be great you know what i'm saying like y'all greatest friend but in a relationship it's just like I don't know about that like mm, that's not it mm, that's not it chief at all so just make sure you are emotionally attracted to this person physically attracted to this person and you just like dang this person is just like me because you dating somebody that's just like you isn't always the best thing they say opposites attract and a lot of times that is true you end up like falling madly in love with somebody that you realize you have nothing in common with but it just seems to click so be careful Number eight, lack of communication. That was like a big thing in my relationship. Lack of communication. Like we didn't really talk much for the time being. Didn't really get to know each other because it was lack of communication. I didn't really get to see his flaws. I didn't get to know my flaws. I didn't get to know my pros. I didn't get to know his pros. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of misunderstandings. It was a lot of he says, she says, all this extra stuff. And that can really affect the relationship. When it comes to communication, make sure you got that down pack. And honestly, you may never be able to have it like completely down pack, like 100% down pack. Like, how are you supposed to know whether y'all are able to work on things how are you supposed to know what ticks this person off what this person doesn't like if you're not communicating if you're not telling the person you like what you don't like and then they end up doing what you don't like do not ignore them do not expect them to be psychic like talk to them even if it seems obvious talk to them because what's obvious to you may not be obvious to them not everybody have common sense you know what i'm saying like be able to talk do not just like oh good night because i know a lot of females do that stop doing that like you only affecting yourself and if you don't care just I don't care. 
don't be in that relationship that's it stop wasting your time stop wasting their time you also have to make sure you are aware of where that person is emotionally and mentally which is basically like same thing i guess you don't communicate you don't see that person's biggest flaw and then that end up being like a super toxic relationship super abusive relationship you also got to be able to say sorry when you're wrong say sorry it's hard your ego's big but if you don't do that then the person just anything you say it's just gonna be like whatever it's just gonna be like okay one tally two tally i'm gone i'm done like so talk things out number nine i'm trying to put this finger up but i can't without this finger just going like that <laughs> you were bored slash lonely you only got into a relationship because you just like man i'm just tired of being single it's boring and then you just get into a relationship that relationship might end up being boring and then you just like bye you're not putting your all in chat relationship and you gotta realize that you can't be doing stuff like that the person might be mad invested in you you're just like yeah whatever it is what it is you're emotionally dragging somebody basically and they're gonna take that on to their next relationship even though they shouldn't they might not even realize they're doing it just because you're bored just because you lonely doesn't mean it's a great time for you to get into relationship if you bored if you lonely figure something out yourself easier said than done i know that jump is hard but still try if you do get into a relationship just because you're bored and just because you're lonely start as friends because that can do a lot that can go a long way number 10 you're not straightforward and i know a lot of females are like this uh surprisingly a lot of males too which is like y'all just need to be better yeah i gotta work on that like i'm not gonna be one-sided with males expecting them to be straightforward females y'all gotta be straightforward too you can't expect somebody to be psychic like oh why are you mad i'm not you sure i just think it's funny how you just gotta be straightforward tell them what you don't like and i need to work on that too because i'm really not straightforward because i don't really like confrontations like that i don't i don't i don't i don't like it i don't like to feel like i'm bugging i don't like to feel like i just be feeling like who am i to be over here tripping you know what i'm saying don't give me a reason to trip i end up stop talking to a lot of people that i was talking talking to you know i was talking talking to because i just don't know how to be straightforward so i'm telling y'all this that's my challenge for y'all and i need to take this challenge too because i need to tell them oh this is why i stopped talking this is what i don't like it's really annoying because it was repetitive i i never said nothing i need to say something because if you're not you just dragging the situation out to one day you can't take it no more you're just like whatever i don't care no more that basically was me that basically is me if you're not straightforward then don't expect the person that you're with to be straightforward that is my 10 reason why a lot of relationships don't last that's what i feel like and if you don't agree then i guess you could just hit that dislike button and if you didn't like the video i guess you could just hit that dislike button also if you have other reasons why you feel like relationships don't last that i did not list feel free to comment them down below and i'll reply to you i got time ain't no excuse you know what i'm saying i am bougie comment down if you also agree with what i said or if you experience any one of those reasons that i said or if you have a friend that experienced or a family member that experienced any one of what i said then comment it down below comment down your story that's lit interact you know what i'm saying like thank you for watching this video i know you probably was like dang girl you talk so much. just get to your point you made it through you the real mvp